Hey guys, time for another DIY project. This is our 2004 Club Car DS. It has an IQ drive system. We're going to be installing a light kit. The big box is for a windshield, but my wife ordered the wrong one. That's for a president model, which won't fit on this car. So we'll do that another time. This is the light kit. I'll put a link in the description below where you can pick this up. I think we paid, I don't know, 85 bucks or somewhere around that price for it. Comes with the instructions. Inside the instruction bag are templates for the cutout spaces to fit the lights in the body of the car and uh, several zip ties so you can tie the wiring harness up to the frame on the bottom side of the golf cart. Kit comes with two tail lights. These tail lights are LED tail lights. The kit also has two headlights, which are halogen bulbs. You can get those in LED, cost a little bit more. And then it comes with a wiring harness and a push pull on off switch. Here's the right side headlight assembly. It's pretty much the same as a tail light. You just make a cutout in the body and screw it in with the stainless steel screws. It does have an adjustment screw right on the front. You can see it there next to my thumb. That's to adjust the up and down of the headlight beam. And the wiring harness with an on-off pull switch. So here's the templates, the rear light template. And then it's got a headlight template. Pretty easy to use. It's made to line up with the body. And there's the instruction sheet. It'll cut out the headlight template. Uh, the front of the template goes on the right side and you just draw out the space you need to cut out and then take that template and flip it over to the other side and mark the left side for a cutout. And be careful with that template because you could push it out of shape and <laughs> kind of mess up where you're marking. Pretty simple. I'm going to use a rotary tool to cut this out. I love my DeWalt tools. I have a DeWalt DW660 rotary tool that I use to make this headlight cut out. Uh, my first cut wasn't close enough to the bottom of the body so that the light would wrap around underneath. So I had to make a second pass on the bottom. But really handy tool. It made very quick work of this. And I'm using a new DeWalt drill for the first time today. I got a cordless uh, 20 amp, 20 max uh, DeWalt drill. My wife bought this actually and had it hiding somewhere and gave it to me the other day when I was complaining about using the old one. I got an 18 volt DeWalt drill that I've been using for 11 years or so. And that sucker is heavy. <laughs> It works great. I've never really had any issues with it. It's just heavy when you're working up over your head or doing some other things. This new one is uh, 20 amps instead of 18, which is cool. So it's got a lot of power. It's much smaller, so you can get into tighter places, and it's much lighter. So once you've got the cutout and your light fits properly, you just stick it in there and put the four screws in it all there is to it. There's the first one in place. I'm going to make the second cutout here using that cutout tool. And if you watch real close, you'll see me break off the bit. <laughs> so I broke the long bit and I had to use a road, uh, a different bit that's more of a router style bit. So I had to make a couple of shallow passes um, on each cutout and then kind of work my way through that body is actually made out of PVC. I don't know why I thought it was fiberglass, but it's about a 3 16th of an inch thick. So just took my time and made some nice clean cuts and got the cutouts done. Popped in the four screws here with my new DeWalt drill and the headlights are done except for connecting it to the wire and that's just a plug basically. The headlights look really nice on the front. 
We're gonna spin around to the back and get the rear lights installed and then work on the wiring harness and the switch. So got these two taillight cutouts done. Got the lights screwed in and then moving on to the wiring harness. You'll need to pay attention to the instructions and depending on what your battery setup is, you may need a voltage reducer. You would run that uh, to the positive side of your battery series and then the negative side at the other end of your series uh, if you have six eight volt batteries to bring your 48 volts down to 12 volts. I have four 12 volt batteries so I can just connect my wiring harness directly to one of the batteries and just draw 12 volts but if you have 8 volts or you have 6 volt batteries you're best to use a voltage reducer to get the correct voltage for your light kit. I'll connect right here to this battery on the end and then just feed my harness underneath uh, for the tail lights and connect it to the frame and then pull the other end forward and connect that to the headlights and the on off pull switch that I'm going to mount in the dash. So there she is with the headlights on and working. Looks pretty darn good. The switch is still hanging underneath the body. It needs to be mounted in the dash. I'm just going to pull two screws out either end of this little dash panel and mount the push pull switch in here. And there it is, all done. Uh, broke my key switch wire terminal doing it, so I need to replace that. But the headlights are installed and working. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.